Hello, my name is Bailey, and I'm a senior here at Missouri State University, and I'm both majoring in gerontology and psychology with a minor in religious studies. And my project was over me shadowing a healthcare worker who is a CNA for 12 years and is now currently working for a travel agency called First Call here in Springfield. And she goes from nursing home to nursing home or hospital to hospital just to take care of different residents, just going from different facilities all over. So when I asked her if I could shadow her, she was very surprised that I wanted to shadow her because she said her job wasn't appealing to most people and that people find older adults disgusting, which is a sad thing that most people agree with. What I learned about this project is that CNAs make the whole building run. They transfer the residents, toilet them, bathe them, feed them, take care of them, they'll sit with them, they'll talk to them, they'll be their person to be with all throughout the day and they help the nurse and med techs with their responsibilities as well as well um but what i noticed during my shadowing was that this worker went out of her way to make her residents comfortable and the workers really try to make these residents feel like family and not alone in this new environment especially the ones in this facility were dealing with different forms of dementia and it was just really inspiring to see so what I learned, well, what I observed um, the residents um, when I was there was that they were very social with the workers, that they really wanted to be there with them and wanted them to sit with them and talk to them, hold their hand. They were, a lot of the women were very huggy or they would kiss the worker's hand in gratitude if, the per if that worker gave them a snack that they liked which I thought was very cute, and you don't usually see that out in the real world. So the mo most important part I saw during this observation was how the CNA went out of her way to give extra care to everyone, how it wasn't just a checklist for her, to, to, for all of her duties. She took care of each person and gave them a little bit of time, whether it was sitting with them, asking about their grandchildren or was asking if they wanted to go outside or if they wanted an extra snack or if they wanted to go talk to whoever in the facility. And I just thought that was very interesting and very inspiring to see. The most interesting thing I saw was how these workers handle these situations because these people don't remember their names, they don't remember their families, or they don't remember their age or where they are. And they just seem to approach them in a calmer manner than they would just a regular person. They were soft-spoken and they sat down to their level and were just very approachable, very soothing, which I was very interested to see because you don't see that in other facilities, I'm guessing. The most surprising thing I saw, which blew my mind, was how dedicated these workers were because they would go in every day and just be there. They don't think about anything. They're not thinking about their families. They're giving 110% of their selves to these residents who some of them don't have families or don't get visitors. And with COVID, they're even more isolated and alone. They are stuck in this building with all the doors are locked. They can't leave unless it's for a hospital visits. And it's just really inspiring to see how these workers just really adore these residents and vice versa because these residents find like considered this worker that I shadowed a lot of the women called her her daughter and it's sweet and sad to think that their daughters aren't there with them but this worker was and they considered her her daughter and the love they felt for each other was just inspiring to see because they the worker would say I love you because they just assumed they just see that worker as their daughter or their loved one and they would actually believe that she was that person and it would just put these residents at ease and it was just reassuring to see that there are still workers out there especially during this time where a lot of people aren't staying in healthcare because of all these covid situations and this worker would just give 110 percent of her whole self to just be there because she would take time away from her family to go in not during her shifts and bring these residents what they need because some of these people don't have anyone to bring them anything 
And it was just really inspiring to see. And I learned a lot from this project.